Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you a demonstration of MDB. I am Francis and uh, I have done my um, a lot of certifications. So basically I am a teacher teaching in a lot of places around the world. So I thought of creating my own message driven bean. For the message driven bean to uh, work, we have I'm using a Glassfish server. I'm using the latest version of NetBeans and I'm just starting this Glassfish server. Today's twelfth date is twelfth, twelfth, and twelfth. So it's an interesting date. And uh, once we open this Glassfish server, we shall be able to create two, um, two, two things which are used in the JMS API. Uh, one of them is the queue connection factory, and uh, the one, the other one is the destination. Uh, so we will be, we shall be able to create it. I'm just going to open the console of this particular server. Also, if you see, I have no projects right now. I'm just creating a project. Before that, I have to make those two objects of queue connection factory and the destination. So here, you will see a lot of options available. You just have to go to the JMS resource. So we are using the JMS uh, API for Java mes messaging, MDB beans, connection factories, create a queue connection factory. So we will be just giving this a JNDI name, it's a Java name, JNDI name, JMS slash um, Q and resource type will be taking Q. You can also take topic, but you're not using a publish a subscriber model, using the peer to peer model. And these are the settings uh, of the queue, just like idle, timeout, and a lot of configuration. This will ha come in handy when you're not making an example and actually working on in production environment. So we have a queue. Also, we have to create a destination. create a new destination I'll give it a name DEST JMS slash DEST this can be anything make sure that the resource type is Q and that's it Good. okay once you enable these two features yeah so both are enabled so once you enable this, you just go to NetBeans, right click new project, Java EE Enterprise Application, give it a name my MDB keep the default options. I'm taking Java Enterprise Edition 5. I'm using the Enterprise Java Bean module and the war module that will act like a client making the server the same which we created the two objects so once this is done you will be able to see three things over here in the projects tab just creating it for me yeah so here this is my bean I'll be creating a new message driven bean however I will just select option from yeah. it's as you can see it's a asynchronous bean it's a asynchronous server component over here I'll be using the server destination and that's the JMS desk which I just created. Um, I will just say it as mb com dot m e s s a d and I finish. So once I do that in my project, I have this mb in the enterprise beans. I will be getting this mb icon, and there is a method, very important one, on message. So on receiving of this message what should happen is you should uh, convert this message into a type known as text message again this is from JMS text message uh, TMSG equal to null and uh, next thing will be you'll have to typecast your message into the text message type
can store it in T message. There's a method T message, T message dot get text and uh, I'm just putting it in the system or println. So it's giving me, I have to cover this up with exception. So I'll just say around the statement with try catch block. So this is a probability that I might get an exception over here. So automatically this will get handled with the try and catch. And I'm done with the message. So whenever uh, someone sends me a message, I should be able to retrieve it over here. The next thing that I will do is I'll go to my projects. I will just do some configuration on my client. I will make use of the existing JSP page. I'll make it as test page. And what I will do is I will take uh, instead of this hello world. I will take in a form, make it point to a new servlet. This servlet is not yet created. I'll be creating it the next thing after this. After I create the new servlet, um, I will have to take a table in which I require only one row. So I'll be just taking a row. In the first row, I'll be giving it your message as a label and the second column of that row we will be putting in a text box let's make it a little bit bigger so which should be 50 approx and let's give it msg name apart from that let's have a button also a submit button named as submit we have this uh, our JSP file ready we will be creating one servlet so that's the new servlet which I was earlier speaking of and say com.web we don't want just keep everything as default select the servlet in the servlet what we'll do is we'll come to this line line number 33 34 and we'll just right click there's an option in NetBeans insert code send JMS message so it's asking where do I send it so I'll select message driven Wien. send it to this person based on this particular destination which we earlier created the connection factory which we were using is Q make sure you do this otherwise it will give an error this is what we created earlier and you say ok so what does well, when you say okay a lot of things happen you can see this the resources are mapped you get a queue and a connection factory and also you'll get this method two methods this method in turn converts the the the, the data which you will be sending into it can be of five types it will be not, it will be out of the scope of this demonstration for the for you to explain what exactly these five types are however just uh, just giving you a pointer that this method uses another method and that is this the message producer sends the method to create message for GMS destination along with the session and the data and this is what gets called and this tries to send the data send text whatever so what we'll be doing is we'll be just uh, coming to this line again and we'll be uh, capturing the text sent by the user into a string so uh, let's say string str is equal to request dot get parameter in this we'll be using the parameter that is msg which we created earlier msg yeah so once we have this string with us we can just edit some information your message plus str
has been sent to the server please check the logs and we'll be sending the message shortly uh, we shall we will be using this method send JMS message to destination and in that we'll be putting the value str now there's a likelihood that there might be an exception so it's asking you for surrounding with so I'm surrounding with try catch and I'm doing that so once we are done we'll be see able to see in the output we have the glassfish server which is already loaded some resources were created so I'm just cleaning this up by clearing things up and what I will do is I will just go to my projects right click on my project and I'll see clean and build just to ensure that everything syntactically is right and correct so here we go everything is gone right let me clear this also what we do is now we deploy this beam once we deploy this beam you will be able to see in this application right now nothing is loaded but there is a stateful session beam from my previous example so let me just undeploy this thing yeah so let's let's deploy this beam sorry you have to deploy it from here right click deploy so successfully done hopefully I should be able to see something over here yeah so here it is you can see that this EJB has been deployed the bean JMS it's a message driven bean and it has been deployed and now it's done for me to run my client so everything seems like very good and it's working just clearing all the logs all the time just to make sure that everything goes accordingly clearing all of them and this is my test page so rare message let's say that JMS is easy your message is being sent to the server please check the logs let us see the server logs that's my server and we can see that JMS is easy is actually recorded in the server log this completes our demonstration of JMS and uh, hope to see you next time on some other topic and if you have any questions please uh, get, go forward and ask me the questions or any feedback that you can give thank you very much